give about it. Doesn't matter what kind of week you've had. How many of you love him today?
this girl was in the bathroom crying in the stall, and she was, she was crying. I was like, what's wrong? And she said, I've been cutting myself. And I was like, I said, why would you be cutting yourself? And she said, because I've had evil thoughts in my head for the past couple of months. And the first thought that came to my head was, should I pray with her? So I asked her if, um, if, she, if it was okay if I prayed for her, and she said, yeah, so right in the bathroom stall, I prayed for her. And ever since, I've been keeping in touch with her. And she'd say that she hasn't had any more evil thoughts or any type of temptations of cutting herself. And I just want to thank God for letting me out to others. Oh.
have God's peace in our life. And the first thing Jesus, he didn't scold them, even though every one of them walked away, Peter denied him three times and cussed and everything else. But when he walks in the room, I mean, I would have been a little nervous. When I got in trouble with my parents, I wasn't too excited when they come walking in the room. But I want you to know the door was shut, the room was locked, but yet Jesus still was able to be right in the midst. It said he walked in the middle of them. I want to declare to you today, no matter where you are, what are you going through, you may feel like you're locked up. You may feel like you're here all alone in this place that you've never been before. And you may be afraid. You may be fearful the way Sydney used to be when she'd go out and the wind would blow and she would constantly say, is it going to come a tornado? I'm like, Sydney, how many tornadoes have you been in? Is it going to be a storm? Hasn't the Lord seen you through every storm that you've been into? Fear has a torment spirit. Yes. And it will keep you from the peace of God. But I want to tell you today, no matter where you are, what you're facing, no matter if you're locked inside the room, Jesus can get to where you are.
of God. Hallelujah. Woo, you can't smoke enough pot to make you feel God's peace. So you may feel good after you smoke with y'all that smoke the joint or two. You may feel calm and relaxed, but it's still not the true peace of God. Right? 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 right. There's no
somebody's respect that will bring God's peace. You know that child that's been just criticized. You're not going to have to do anything. He's looking for the father's approval. And he may not ever get the father's approval. But you know what gets the heavenly father's approval? When we come under the blood of Jesus. When we realize that we've been crucified with Christ. We're no longer our own. And we've accepted the prize that Jesus paid. That he might reconcile both into God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And he came and preached peace Woo! to you which were afar off. Do you know that Gentile people, we don't have any hope about ourselves. Without God in the world, no hope whatsoever. We wasn't even part of the chosen. But aren't you glad we've been adopted? Everything's going to work out. Come on, look at somebody's there. 
God, right? And I'm not even going to get into the purpose and the power of God. But how many of you die for His purpose? He's got a purpose for your life. He's got a purpose for your life. Do what he wants to do in your life. Amen. Then you're going to.
told you about uh, Elon? Yeah, we took him uh, Monday to Marky Cancer. And uh, I want to thank God for the peace that he's given me through that long. Yes. I know I was chosen by God. Come on, John. Come on. But my heart's been broke because it's my son. Come on. And the reason my heart's been broke, I don't know if they think this wrong. Is because I know He is chosen by God. Yeah. And when you're chosen by God, yeah. things are going to come against you. Yeah. They come against me in my life. Come on. And my heart is broke as a dad yeah. because you've got to go through the test yeah. to get the test of my okay? yeah. life. Life may not understand it by now. I'm learning those things at yeah. 35 years old. Come things on. that I have a hard time dealing with. I face illnesses. When I was two years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia. But I had a wrong day. Come on, John.
to be safe and sick. I've heard the same tell them over these pews and over this problem. Yes. Yes.
Thank uh-huh. 